As organizations continue to gain access to new streams of information, managers need the ability to rapidly interpret data that comes in varying formats and from multiple sources. The new GMAT Integrated Reasoning section is designed to measure that critical skill in your applicants. Hello, I'm Ashok Sarathi, Vice President of the GMAT program at the Graduate Management Admission Council. Welcome to the second in our series of videos examining the four question types we have developed for the new Integrated Reasoning section. This section will become part of the GMAT exam in June 2012. In this video, we are going to take a look at the graphics interpretation format, which tests the ability to understand, analyze, and act on visual information. Test takers will be asked to identify relationships between data presented in multiple formats, such as bar graphs, pie charts, two-dimensional graphs, scatter plots, as well as images. Test takers will also be asked to convert quantitative data between graphical and verbal formats. Graphics interpretation questions will require test takers to complete a series of statements using information presented in the associated graph or image. This will give schools insight into how well an individual can analyze and solve problems presented in a visual format. Data tends to come because of advances with technology already pulled together in some very interesting visual, graphical forms. And so managers really need to have the ability to, to look at this data and use it to make good and informed decisions. In tandem with the other types of integrated reasoning questions, Graphics interpretation questions will help schools determine how well an individual can handle information that comes from multiple sources. This is an essential ability that faculty have said the GMAT should measure. We know that in the MBA world, you're encountering a lot of different people, you're encountering a lot of different situations, you're encountering data that's presented in many different ways. And so integrating different types of data on the test really gives us a data point <laughs> pun intended, for the admissions committee to look at the candidates and better understand their ability to bring those ideas together. In our next video about the integrated reasoning section, we look at the table analysis question type. To learn more about the Next Generation GMAT, visit us at gmat.com nextgen. If you have any questions, please email us at nextgengmat at gmac.com.